Man. For for me, I learned early on not to use samples. You know, I definitely like not samples of old records like Aretha Franklin, things like that. But samples like when you that you find in sample packs or that you find uh, like on these loop websites and things like that. Mainly for me because if I use the loop and Clint uses the loop and Dre uses the loop, you know what I mean. Let's say we start our track that way. They have um, different pro or different software that kind of scans your music. You know what I mean? So if all three of our tracks get scanned and our libraries are tracking them, they're like, hey, that's my song. No, that's my song. You know, the, it can cause confusion, right? However, I'm not completely opposed to using loops because you do have a chance to manipulate those loops. And a lot of time the issue is that people use the loop and they let it stand alone. You know, so when you yep. let it stand alone, that's going to cause your problem, you know, you because you have to create narrative versions or you have to create these different versions of your song. So if I use a loop and then they want a a track with just the the main melody and I use the piano loop, then I'm going to be in a little bit of trouble, you know, and that mm. can cause mm -hmm. bad blood between yep. you and a your you and your library or your publisher so what i tell someone to stay away from using loops i would say 